Welcome, my friends, to another edition. After a little bit of a uh, rest and relaxation, and most importantly, reflection. My name is Stan Houston, and this new edition of our podcast is simply called Ideas, Influence, Impact, and Income. And it's a production of What It Takes Radio and, of course, the Creator Entrepreneur Institute. And today, we would like to assure you of something that you may or may not be aware of. And that is, no matter, even if you voted for Joe Biden, you will not be any happier in six months. May I say that again? And it's not a political preference statement. It's a statement of reality. Uh, in six months, you will not be any happier if you voted for Joe Biden. Let's go back and let me direct you to the meaning behind that idea. And uh, hopefully it'll make us both, make all of us, move forward in uh, some slower but perhaps more reflective directions. Obviously, it's been quite an election. It always is, and it seems it gets more polarizing and more powerful in its impact and disruption to our lives. But the election, about uh, a week ago on Tuesday night, uh, I went to bed with a number of people, and it appeared that um, uh, Donald Trump had been able to pull out this very close election, to many people's surprise, as he was ahead in a variety of the crucial states and had won some of the crucial states that were important to him, like Ohio and Florida. We woke up on a Wednesday morning, and it appeared that something had happened through the night, and now it was not so sure. And, of course, Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, back and forth, up and down, all of the things that have possessed the news. And, of course, I oftentimes say what is clear to you now, and what is clear to me, and is clear to a lot of people, is that, in effect, the political process has become even more corrupt than we may have thought, but we also now know that the news and the media and the polling and all of the people involved in that, they cannot be trusted. And that's a very sad and difficult and bad thing to come to realize because without trust, life and business does not work well. That's obvious. Uh, if I buy something and uh, you uh, give me that nice product and you uh, make claims about it and I give you my money, I'm trusting that uh, what you said is true. And you're trusting that the check or the credit card that I used or the uh, money I gave you is truly worthwhile and valid. If Neither one of us can trust buyers and sellers, the people we work for, work with, and do business with. When trust is gone, civilization falls apart, and anarchy and violence and, of course, bloodshed, all of that comes about. And, of course, as an old history teacher, that has happened many, many, many times. And in fact, it's happening in some parts of the world right now. So what do we do about that? Well, hopefully the process that is now continuing will uh, bring together at least uh, some confidence that whatever the uh, selection is and whatever the uh, outcome truly is, that at least uh, more than a, a few people will have a confidence in that whether they won or they lost, that it seems that the process played itself out and uh, that whoever is on top at least deserves to be on top, at least for a little while, until the next election. But what is clear to so many people is that uh, one of our fundamental institutions in America which is the modern media, and all that goes around with it, um, we just don't know that we can trust the folks and the people and the powers and the institutions that are behind them. Uh, we cannot be assured that they will tell us the truth. 
I oftentimes say that uh, part of success goes to what I call the T9 formula. T9, tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Uh, when Jesus said the truth will make you free, he was speaking at a variety and at many levels. And that was, of course, that uh, he believed that if you understood that he was the bearer of the truth, uh, that'll set you free from a lot of misunderstanding and misapprehension and uh, misdirections. You know, follow me. I'll show you what is real and what is true and what is right. And many people throughout the uh, centuries of the, the Christian tradition have believed that and found that it works for them. But uh, uh, not only is the truth important that you and I can do our life and do our business and know that there's a reasonably uh, good chance that I can trust you. I've had some disappointments lately because some people told me they would uh, do something for me or they would uh, work with me in a certain area and it turned out they either couldn't keep their word or didn't keep their word and they didn't tell the truth and now we have to deal with that and we have to make amends and make arrangements about that. And you say, of course you're saying to me, well Stan, that's life. Indeed it is. And in fact, what we are trying to do with the kind of work we now do is to help more and more people who tell the truth, T9 folks, to be on the radio, to use the media, to use their wisdom, their insight and integrity and their truth to reach out using just exactly what I'm getting better at. Um, this is not only a video production, it is also a radio program being produced. And shortly I'll be able to put this out not only for you, but for people all over the world, whether they want to experience it through the seeing, or they simply want to listen to it through the hearing. I can do both. And I want you, because there's a good chance that I can trust you more than I can trust the people of power. And that said, I have a better feeling that I can trust you more than I can trust the people who think they're very important and the people who are now either retaining or seeking to gain power. So please think about that. Because what I want to be clear for you is that you are going to take your life and your faith and your beliefs and your career and you're going to put together a broadcast system in which you will gain your business that is now increasingly difficult to do one-on-one. -on -one. You're going to take your life and your business and your service and the messages you have and you're going to learn how to use this medium, the modern media, to communicate and make a difference. And I can help you do that. We call that what it takes radio, and we know what it takes for you to do just exactly what I'm doing right now, and we can help you do it. So I hope you'll reach out to me and gain that understanding and that help. We've done this for over 40 years, and uh, we do it well, and we can help you. Just think about that. As I oftentimes said on late night radio, one of my signature slogans was, and some of you already know what I'm going to say, just let that sit on your head for a while. Or uh, as one of my, uh, not really a mentor, but I learned a great deal from him, Rod Serling in that classic series called The Twilight Zone, would say at the end, just an idea for your thought and consideration. I'm hoping that in the next few months, maybe even the next few weeks, maybe this week, you will do what already three people are talking to me about, and they are going to do what they've never done before. They're going to take their business and put it on a platform of video and audio and radio, and that is how they're going to make things happen. That is clear to them now. I hope uh, I can help you gain some clarity. I'm going to do a little program on that because uh, that's my favorite question. 
since we last met, since we last talked, what is clearer to you now? I've been known for many years, despite my activities, and I've never ever got fully involved in the political process. Certainly I vote, and certainly I'm interested, and certainly I have my preferences, but uh, I've been known for this expression, politics is an illusion. What it is, it is arranged and contrived arrangements and forces and systems for other people to gain power. That's what it is. And it will never solve the problems. Political solutions are an illusion. Now, is uh, President Trump going to make that surprise comeback and go on for a second term? May happen. Doesn't seem likely right now, but it very well could. Who, uh, who knows what's going to happen? Maybe Joe Biden, who's had a rather a checkered career, may actually be the president of the United States. And uh, millions of people who don't like Trump and perhaps think uh, that his agenda is better, many of them are extremely happy right now because they think that because the presidency has changed from Donald Trump to Joe Biden, that their lives will be happier and their business will be better and they will be happy. That won't happen. Politics is only a slightly above a Super Bowl win. Even if your team won on Sunday, by Monday, who cares? And by next Sunday, hardly anybody remembers. And any happiness that you had for that Super Bowl win will soon go away. And any happiness you are now having, or maybe even some distress you're going through, uh, will uh, eventually either recede or perhaps uh, just go away. Things will not be significantly better for you in six months. Hmm. They can be somewhat better for you, and we'd like to help you do that. But good and significant change comes only from what you become and what you are and what you do. And it'll take a while for all of those things to happen, and uh, you will discover... By the end of the spring, by uh, next summer, that, you know what? We still have the same stuff. We still have the same problems. We still have the same inner feelings. Nothing will have changed. Nothing significant happens because of politics. Political solutions are an illusion. Can I say that again? Political solutions are an illusion. Now, the uh, crisis conflicts of both COVID and the lack of trust and the social fracturing and uh, the convoluted election, that's more than a perfect storm in which you can take stock in the middle of the storm and seek out the spiritual wisdom, insight, and truth that you need. I am telling every business now, I'll help you sell. Boy, I can help you do a lot of things. But I'm telling people right now that if you want your business to structure it for the post-COVID world, and hopefully there will be one soon, maybe the vaccine will help. But remember, whatever hope we have for it, It'll never fully work out. It might be better, might be helpful, but it won't save us. Whatever you're hoping to do, that won't. You need to give your business spiritual development, power, passion, and purpose, and a program to achieve that. If you are the leader of any business, any organization, If you actually want to improve your life, you will focus. And I'm not even saying what kind of elements will go into that, or even if you will follow the spiritual path that I have, and by the way, you shouldn't. You should find your own. But you are going to have to give attention when you get up in the morning to say, God, here I am. Make my day. 
help me. Give me the power I need for this day. You're going to have to learn through your reading, your thinking, and your behavior that you will develop spiritually in 2021. Now, that'll have nothing to do with the politics. In fact, it will overcome the politics in terms of your own life and your own life experience. But I just simply want to leave that with you because now... I didn't say anything for 72 hours, and now I've waited another 72 hours plus to say something about the election and about what I think you should do. Ideas, you're going to need a lot of them. Influence, you will have to be influential. You will have to make an impact. You'll have to make a difference. And if you're going to survive, you need all kinds of income. Obviously financial. But you're going to need all kinds of other income, true income, to make life work in what is before us now. So there we are on uh, the continuing turmoil of the election. And I guess now it could go on even into the uh, new year in January. But please keep in mind, your own happiness, your own success is truly a, a personal and inside job. And it does not have to depend on whatever circumstances or even whatever catastrophes are taking place outside of you. I will guarantee you, life will be difficult. It always is. There will be incredible challenges. There always will be. My wife and I had a deep disappointment come to us, which is leading us to profound prayer and passion about someone we love and care about deeply. And now we understand what is truly important. And all of those things will happen. You know why? Because it's called life. And the four-letter word for life is R-I-S-K. It's all a risk. And it only will begin to make sense when you experience the spirit force where you give the spiritual development both of your life and your business and the work you do, when you give it particularly top priority. I'm sure of that. I just simply want to pass that on to you today. May it go well with you. We're going to have a lot of radio programs and video presentations going forward because our job is very specific. It is, first of all, to be the kind of people God wants us to be with power, purpose, poise, and a plan. And we're going to seek to use the modern media to help you take charge and lose control of your life. That's right. Take charge and lose control of your life. And we'll talk about that, because that's a new and challenging idea. And that'll be one of the things that we will take up soon. Now, what do you want to talk about? I can help you. I know I can. But how can I help you? Let me know. Reach out to me. It may be just personal. It may be professional. It may be business. Perhaps I can help you for free. And there's a good chance I can help you for a fee. But I can help you. And I would welcome the opportunity to do just that. So I, reach, uh, so I reach out to you today and ask you to reach back to me. You can leave a message at 520-664-7002 in the USA. That's 520-664-7002 in the USA. Uh, Stan Houston at gmail.com. Stan Houston at gmail.com. I always respond. I promise you can trust me. All the best and blessings to you. Now go out and live bravely. Be bold. <laughs> Have bright colors. And uh, just begin to see what uh, will be different. And brighter and bolder and braver in your life. Today and tomorrow and the next day. And you know what? You might then be happier, but the politics, the winner and the loser of the situation in the election will have nothing to do with your personal well-being. Bye for now.